Hello everybody and welcome back to Wildflowers where we have uh, just been given the task of, I'm hoping, this broom here will be turning into a broom that I can fly on if we play our cards right today and that would be super, super cool. Looking forward to it. So other than that, um, we're just sort of looking after our... Oh, I did it again. <laughs> looking after our crops. Making sure all our flowers and everything are watered. Making sure our animals are okay. Animal. No, actually animals, because it's the cat as well. But we're making sure they're all okay. I've got quite a bit of fruit to pick today, which is quite nice. And then we're going to be doing a big old... Well, I'm going to need a piece of copper for a new distillery because I, I'm not waiting for that potion any longer than I have to. The, the amount of time it's taking me to do all these, these quests for the coven, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm not waiting, because I decided I'd make some vodka in the distillery and then it was like, haha, but you need the distillery. And I'm like, oh, okay, oops, oops, I needed that. Right then, so I'm going to make some juice out of the orange juice. I think, oh, I forget who it is that buys all of that, though. But uh, there's my juicer. Let's make me some orange juice. And some apple juice. Oh, I've got loads of that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I could have made that into something else in the... Just, uh, actually, no, the distillery is always busy, so maybe it's better that I just make what I can at the moment and uh, get some higher level, get more distilleries for the for the uh, alcohols. Okay, going to need some more Meg food soon. Meg is good chicken. Because there's going to be a certain person that lives under the waterfall who is going to be very upset with me if I let my animals get sick. It's bad enough I'm keeping them captive, apparently. Right then. So... Let's go and hand in. Um, and I'm going to also make I'm going to hand in my quest and I'm also going to make any ore that I have into bars. So we'll start with the silver ore. Uh, sorry, iron ore. Okay. Then I'm going to go over to... Violet's place. Hope she's open. She is not. Which means she could be anywhere. Alright, so let's head down to Amira's and see if we find Violet on the way. Sometimes she's in uh, Lena's shop. So that's my hope this morning, is that she's in Lena's shop. The clinic is also shut. Good old Sunday. Nope, no one there. Okay, Kim is here. Nope. In the woods? Let's have a look around the beach and in the woods and see if anybody's running down here. Francis is here, which is always nice. We can have a chat. That lemonade stand is cute, but it also seems like it's bringing Lena and Parker together more often. That's nice. They need that. Not to be a gossip. But they don't spend that much time with each other, do they? No, they're both very busy people. Well, that's a little bit sad. Some seaweed for my speed potions. We'll have a chat to Kai. When it's warm, Shelby sometimes hangs out on the beach while I'm there. Some people don't like him, but like, pff, why? We just sit there and vibe. And then he says something deep, and I nod. It's copacetic. 
Wow, that's a word I've never heard before, Kai. Sometimes he surprises me. Which is quite cool. Aha! I found you. Now that the ranch is open, Kim's business is thriving. I'm happy for them. We both come from families that set high standards for success. It can be a lot of pressure. Yeah. How come I thought I had a... Oh, this is a general practice request and must be delivered to Amira during work hours. Ah, okay. Well, that's fine. Let's see if we find Violet anywhere. If we don't, we can always have a, you know, chat to people, pick things up off the beach. It never hurts, does it? So, were you and Lena ever... Oh, Hazel told you about my high school she dating did. life? That was a long time ago, and she moved on. Parker, he's a stand-up guy. But did you move on? Sure. Uh, sure, meaning no. I think Thomas might actually be the first person we max out, which would be really cool. Juliet can be a real pain in the neck sometimes. <laughs> but uh, you know what? The other day I turned my ankle and Juliet rubbed it a bit and it instantly felt better. <laughs> Really? You don't say. <laughs> ah, Marty's at the farm, at the ranch for once. So how about we have a chat? I just got these get high tech coveralls. They're supposed to wick sweat away. Oscar Wilde said, "You can never be overdressed or overeducated." But adding another layer on top of my farm clothes in summer is like literally overdressing. It really is. Let's get some food for my chicken. Let's actually get like a bit more today. I know that's a lot of money, but... There was me like, I'm totally going to have all the money I need. La 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 la. Now I can't find any of the people that I need to give the money to. Give the the stuff to you, sorry, to get the money. And I've just spent all my money on like chicken food and stuff. So wonderful, great stuff. Go she lab. However, I can now make my second distillery down in the basement, I'm pretty sure. Which means I can start making my levitation potion. Are we going to need much more stuff down here? No, there's only six things we can make. There's one thing missing. So I don't think a second distillery is going to be too bad. Do I want to put it next to the first distillery? No, I think I want to put it over here. That's quite nice, I think. That's a nice little arrangement, isn't it? Maybe I'll move the mortar and pestle a bit over here, a bit closer. Right. So one of these is, or should be, making vodka. And then this one can make me a bit of copper concentrate. Perfect. Right. So. I need to find violet. And I also need to grab some honey. Do we have any honey being made right now? All the flowers are in their growth stage, sadly, so probably not. Nope, nope, nope. It's not really being made at all, so okay, that's fine. So once the copper concentrate's done, we can we can get things rolling. I think I'm just gonna spend some time now in the evening in the mine. And we're just going to try and get the rest of the silver that I need together. Plus any other cool things that I'd be able to sell, etc, etc. Although I can't sell any gems until Wednesday, so we have to bear that in mind. It will be Tuesday tomorrow, so it's not too long to wait. 
But it would be super nice to have the axe upgrade tomorrow. Look how much less, um, also. Uh, it does still take two, but look how much less stamina this silver pick takes. That is insane. It's so good. Which is why, obviously, you get the silver pick first, because you need to then go in and get loads of... You get needed a lot more metal than you need wood for these things. Let's put it that way. So the axe is definitely the uh, the secondary one. But because I need 120 wood for the for the barn, I'm thinking that it will still be worthwhile upgrading that. Right. So I've got four silver ingots, which means I need. Five, six, eight more. Seven. Six. Loving the silver pick though. Very good way of making lots of money without having to use all of my stamina up. Much also approve. I want to make myself a metal working bench pretty soon as well. Like once I've sort of got the barn done, I want to be looking at a few uh, what what things I'm missing. So things like the uh, fermenting barrel, or the fermenting barrel I might make earlier. We'll see. <laughs> Right, that is quite a lot of silver we've got now. So let's see, we've got nine. So that'll make me another five. So I need like three more. And hopefully we will have this very early in the episode. I, th I was hoping I'd have it in the on the first day of the episode. Oh, apparently we're picking up clay, wonderful. I think we can use clay for one of the dyes or something. Or something like that. So it's not so bad. But yeah, look at how much stuff we got for, for one set of... It does still take a bit of time, but one set of... Um... We're on 12, that's going to make 6, 4, yeah, we're, we're there, we're there, we've got enough. I'll carry on a little bit, but it's nearly nearly midday, midnight, sorry, so we need to really get a move on. So I think that should be enough, and with all the, the extra bits and bobs that we managed to get, the extra copper, the extra iron... We should hopefully be able to make enough money, especially if we can find Violet and Amira tomorrow and get uh, the money to them. Because somehow I just have managed to like spend it all. Oh yeah, I probably spent loads of money making the, the second distillery as well, but I, I don't even care. I needed that. Oh, am I ready for I'm bed? hoping the alcohol that I'll be able to make in it will be worthwhile. It will pay me back in time. Right, the flowers are all ready, which means that there's a good chance that the bees will actually start to do something today. So let's have a little look at that then, shall we? Apparently these all need watering. Which means most of the things in the farm are going to need watering. Right, honey-wise, big jump in the honey today. Wow. If I could leave them there for a day or two, then that would be great, because we can get a, a fair bit of honey going. 
So if I can leave them there until at least tomorrow before they wilt. I'm kind of just playing around with that, but that's a lot of marigolds. I'll maybe harvest those later, actually. It's a lot to lose. And it's a lot of money's worth to lose as well. Talking about a lot of money's worth. I'll need the money from that today, won't I? I, I know, stupidest way ever to do this watering. <sighs> but yeah, we'll get over to Natalia in a minute. And uh, see if we can get this upgrade done. Um, I haven't checked on my chicken, have I? No. Chicken checks, I need it. I'll check on my chicken. Then I'm actually go I am going to harvest the marigolds at that point. I'm going to give the cat, if I find the cat anyway, later on, maybe. We'll take these to Violet and we'll sell them. And I think I'll get quite a lot of money for them. And then we'll get like another 10 marigolds to grow. And then I'll see if there's any more cloth I need to dye, because I think that's the thing I need to do. Sells for a good amount. Yeah, Violet should be in her shop today, so that should be fine. Right, we're at midday now. But between the cloth and selling stuff, I'm hoping... Then we should get some money, some decent money together. But I'll see how it goes. Right, Violet, hello. Here's your cloth. Oh, this will look great when I put it in the store. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, how about we sell you? Another 40 marigolds. So that's another 400. Um, I will sell you all my sunflowers as well for another 80. 837. Tulips are useful for dye, so I don't really want to sell them too much. Uh, I need 10 of these to replace. That was great. Okay. Kai, can I sell you anything right now? Let's have a quick look. I can sell the rest of my cloth or the rest of my olives. Let's sell some olives. Let's go see Lena and see if I can sell anything to her. Still waiting on that honey, sorry. Um... She'll take my strawberries for quite a decent amount. Ah, lemons and limes are always good. Perfect, just enough. Uh, I'll have a chat with you as well, Lena. This year, I had to set a s'more limit for the kids. A s'more limit? Last summer, Finn fashioned a three-pronged marshmallow roasting stick out of some branches and twine. Ah, he is an efficient engineer. I like it. <laughs> that kid is really too much like his dad sometimes. Right then. So the next thing I want to do is find a mirror and see if we can get that last little bit of money. Hey, have you been finding your time in Fairhaven restorative? I can tell another city weary soul when I see one. It's been great so far. A lot of work, but great. So tell me. I imagine you must have had many admirers back home. Did you leave anyone special behind when you left? Yes, but it's over. Yes, actually. I was engaged, but it's over now. 
Well, your fiancé was a fool, whoever they were. But I think a much brighter love is in your future. I've gotten the impression that there are quite a few people in town who would like to get to know you better. I might have to fight them off to get some time with you. Aww. That's very full on for a one heart acquaintance though, isn't it? You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. The things that I no one else wants. I don't see things like this very often, but it's good you moved here, Bamira. What was that about? Why is Thomas needing shiitake mushrooms? Very, very odd. All right, so who? I forget who buy my juices. Yeah, it was Sophia. Okay, so. I've got loads of orange juice that I can sell you. I'm gonna sell four. But it's good to sell juices to Sophia so that I can get the rest of the recipe books from her. Um, another silkworm from Kai might be quite nice as well. <laughs> you know, I liked the consciousness center at first. It's a good place to sit and think. And you do think quite deeply about things. And the piano, uh, organ, keyboard, whatever, is wicked cool. But Cameron keeps trying to get me to read the book of the mind. And that is not happening. Because you have to read a book or because it's the book of the mind. Either is acceptable. One slightly less acceptable. <laughs> uh, more orange tree and olive tree seedlings. I think I'm happy with the trees I've got at the moment. So let's just buy that other silkworm so we can have two silkworm boxes. Obviously we're waiting for the mulberry tree anyway, so I'm not in a big rush on that one. Right, over to Natalia now with my little bit of money here. I can sell a few of the bars if I go below a thousand. Hello, I'm finally going to want to try and make a big fat silver axe. Can you help me with that? Firstly. Yay! Done. That was quick. I thought that that would take longer, but no. Okay, let's um, just make any other bits of ores that I have into things that I need. Um, I'll sell five of my copper just so i've got a little bit of money in the bank right and now we're starting again let's see how my levitation potion's going down in my basement my basement of horrors um so that's that's done so i can start on the actual potion itself now so you know what i could do though is move the cauldron a touch i think the cauldron's a little bit like A little bit in the way. Or I do that and I move these guys down here. That might be a better place for them. Yeah, that's a way less cramped, isn't it? I don't know. I'll never quite get it right, I don't think. Hmm. I see. I see what I need to do. Move you back into your corner and move you there. Oh, that's better. That's way better. Okay, so we want to make a levitation potion. We have all the stuff for it. Wonderful. Craft three, apparently. We get to craft three. I didn't check how long that was going to take at all. How long is that going to take? Uh, four hours. So that will be done by seven o'clock. I could just about get down to the coven with that, I think. If I'm... Careful. So I've got my new axe. So I'm gonna just like chop down every tree. In fact, maybe we'll go and chop down a few trees in the woodlands instead. That'd be a clever idea, because then I can just go to the I can just go to the spa straight away as well. So it was 120. So I need 60 iron bars, which is 120 iron ore. It's going to take a bit of time. 
So this hopefully should mean I can get loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of wood. Probably do with that summon small things at this point. Uh, if I'm, I'll make one ready for the morning, I think, because we're getting on in the day. So I'm going to chop trees until 7 o'clock. Finally. Then we're going to head over to the coven with our levitation potions. Never know when you'll need something for cooking, do you? Yes. But I definitely think for getting 120 wood together, this is going to be a lot easier. Yes. Then I can do th I can sell things like paper, I can make things out of wood. There's there's a lot of things I can do with wood. I need to go and have a look on the board and see what kind of things uh, people want at the moment. If there's anything that I'm willing to go and get. Like, I'm not willing to go fishing for shrimp. Um, I'm not really into that much fishing in this, to be honest. I, I wanted to upgrade the shop a little bit when I thought I could get... Uh, I needed squid for incantations. But I'm not as interested anymore now. I know I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Bit of mint there, which will be good for coolers for Amira. Finally. I need to find... I, I think I want to find out some of Wesley's other thing. I, like, I might make a uh, some crystal ball potions to find out his other things that he likes. Because I, oh, I don't think yes. I can really make roast beef at the moment. It is seven, so let's head over and grab the levitation potions and then run them over to the coven and see see what what we have to do now. I really do want to push this along and try and find out who everybody is as much as possible. Now let's head back and hand it in. So we found Amira and Shelby. Shelby was a really obvious one. Amira wasn't as obvious, but I kind of... Uh, not really cheated, but I kind of used the clues in front of me to work her out. Juliet, I know you're a witch. How do you make yourself do things you don't want to do? I tell myself that I can have ice cream after. Why? Mom keeps saying I have to call Grammy. That's her mom. But Grammy only ever wants to know two things. My grades, and whether I'll agree to a bat mitzvah. Oof. Granny doesn't sound like my granny. Sounds like a horrible granny. Right, we are back to the coven. We have three people that we don't know who they are, so let's go and see the uh, journeyman. How's the levitation potion coming along? All done. What? I'll bring it to you soon. Awesome. What? How's the levitation potion? It takes a while to brew. Don't I know it? I've had plenty of practice making it myself. What? Uh, happened there? I thought I had it. I do have it. A levitation potion. It's in there. What's going on? How's the levitation potion? I need a hint. Hi. Uh, is all the secrecy and fancy speech getting to you yet? <laughs> is it that obvious? <laughs> I was the same at the start. It's annoying, but worth it. Okay, so um, let's just have a look at the journal. During the daytime? Rats. So I can't use the same the same trick I used last time. My guess is Parker or Kai. Because they like a rule breaker. Finn is the biggest rule breaker I know. Oh, I can't believe that though. What am I doing in the daytime? I thought I'd give the levitation potion and then I'd have another. Alright then. 
so we need to go to bed and i'm gonna try parker and kai in the morning i got at least i got three levitation potions and they don't take too long to brew either so even if i need to test it on like six different people it's not as hard as the honey one which i really did need to know should i go i'm to gonna bed? go to bed yeah i'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna go to bed and we're gonna just work on things for the barn now. Um, so I need to get the barn, go to Parker anyway. And just uh, ask for what needs to be cleared for the barn to be done. Just make sure we've got the right stuff going. So I will do my usual morning routine of watering the crops. My hops are ready, nice. Really do need that brewing barrel then, don't I? But the question is, did I? Add... No, no. <sighs> I I thought I'd gone around the corner and I just clipped the edge. Um. Uh, so yeah. I don't know if I've got the stuff together for that, but let's just see if I do. Might do, might not do. I'd like to do a tanning station as well. All these mushrooms I'm finding, it'd be amazing to tan them into leather. Yeah. I can make my beer barrel. Perfect. Okay, let's go and put some hops in there. I can make wine, beer, apple cider, or cheese. Nice. But beer is what we want to go for. Three days. I might need a few of those then if it's going to take three days each, but you know, we'll, we'll just keep going with it. I um, wonder how the vodka's doing. I don't think it's ready yet. I think it needs one more day. And I do need... Oh, I need to plant all those seeds. I didn't do that. I do wonder if there's a slightly more efficient way to do this, though. Like, um, a better... A better way around that, that works in threes more. At the moment I have five things planted. I'm wondering if I could get one, two, three, four, five, six along there. So rows of six. Also I have six trees, so that would be ideal, wouldn't it? If we could mess around with it and get that to work. But for this season, I'm happy with it as it is. Just for now, uh, I've got a million other things to do. So rearranging the farm is not going to spend be what I spend half of my day on today. I probably should fertilize all of this as well. And I should have like several cauldrons and la la la. But I just am not that sweaty about it. <laughs> I'm getting to a point now where I think it's not going to be too difficult to get all of the money together that I need. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I think let's water all these guys. And then um, the honey is still not really coming along because I'm going to need to wait for these to mature. But I don't want to lose them again. I was really disappointed that they wilted like that. I lost me quite a bit of money actually and I was a bit irritated so I didn't want that to happen again. I've got any little uh, questy bits to do? Just the honey and the the herrings. You know what? I'm never going to do that. I don't care if Otto likes me better or whatever. I just am never going to go and catch those herrings. It's just too annoying to get five of them as well and to, to remember not to sell them to Bruno. Nah. I'll do something else for him. Right, so we need to do things to do things in general to make money. Um, so one of those would probably be to actually get some stuff planted in those six beds that don't have anything in them right now. So we'll go and see Lena to get that sorted. Oh, my speed... This is why I feel so slow. My speed potion's worn off. No, no, no. This will not do. I'm going to get a piece of paper. And head down into the basement and sort that out. Do I have...
have everything I need. Oh yeah, what? most of the things I need. To do a summon small things as well. All right. Speed boost first. Uh, I'll go get more paper. I'll go get one more paper. I'll do them both at the same time. Because I'm no doubt going to be in the mines later on. And I'm going to be trying to get that 120 iron ore that I need. <laughs> and it's going to take a while. Summon small things. Right then. Want to go see Parker? Who I think is the journeyman. And then we'll go see Lena and get six seeds from her. That's two things to remember to do. I'll probably remember one of them. Also, let, uh, like, let's not just run around without actually using these incantations. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Okay. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. <laughs> I really do like the the word the little incantations you do. I like the actual the actual incantations themselves. Um, right. So my guess, I don't think it's going to be Finn. I think it might be Parker. We'll give it a try. Ooh. Hi, Parker. Hi, Tara. How are things on the farm? I'm really glad an old friend of Lena's moved back to town. Lena's lived here her whole life, but she doesn't really have that many close friendships. I am grateful. so grateful for her help and yours. It has definitely made it easier to settle in. We're happy to help anytime. I'm, I'm just glad you're here is all. I hope you and Lena get to spend more time together. Okay, we're a new acquaintance with each other. Lovely. So, oh, get out of here, Angus. I want to see if it's you. Am I sure this is the journeyman witch? I'll have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. Well, I think I've got... Hey, this tastes just like a tea your grandma made me once when I had a cold. Is it a similar recipe? It's so yum. Wow, this is delicious. And it makes me feel like I want to dance? Normally, I don't even dance. Oops, that is not the journeyman witch. I'll have to try someone else. Right, so next person I'm going to try. Let's have a look through, actually. I don't think it's any of the Fae folk, okay? So it's someone who likes to break the rules a bit. Who likes a rule breaker. And I think it's a guy... Possibly it's not Parker. It's obviously not Shelby. I don't think it's Thomas. Let's try Kai. Uh, if it's not Kai, then I'm not really sure. I could then try Damon, maybe. And they're both here, so. If not, I'll brew, brew a second batch. Am I sure this is the journeyman witch? I'll have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. Whoa. It's liquid, but like gold? It's like hypnotic. Oops. That is. Okay, and then I wanted to also try Damon. Am I sure this. Here you go, Damon. That looks perfect. You really it do. It was take Damon, after okay. Hazel. If you make more, I'll buy it to add to drinks. A splash of levitation potion makes a lacquer good cocktail. But isn't that dangerous? Eh, a few sips of the stuff won't make gravity let up. It just makes you feel light on your feet. Oh, a bit like I did to poor old, <laughs> poor old Parker. Okay, cool. It was those three were the three that I thought probably would be it, and it ended up being Damon. So yay, hurrah! That was a bit of a toughie. Right, let's have a little look at the board, see if there's anything I can do to make a bit of cash. Uh, oranges. Okay, Marty, I can give you oranges once my oranges are ready. I can give you paper. And I can definitely get some mint for you. They're not very big payouts, though. 
Right, so I wanted to go and see Lena. Oh, I didn't do what I needed to do at Parker's, but never mind. Okay, so I want to go see Lena so that I can uh, give her it seems we'll have a we chat. Have a new neighbor. I saw Cameron on his way to visit her, hoping to convert a new acolyte, I presume. I'm mm. sorry. That wasn't very nice of me. I'm sure he was just being neighborly. I think Lena is one of the witches then, because she's not... Anybody that is involved in uh, that consciousness center, I don't feel would be a witch. Also, I don't feel particularly because they were saying that, you know, uh, Otto and Vanessa, I don't think are either. So that does start to sort of uh, kind of narrow things down. Lena may well be the uh, high priestess. Don't know, though. We'll see. Be interesting to find out, won't it? Uh, okay, so I'm going to sell you all my lemons and limes. Some of my eggs. Mm. Some of my strawberries. Um, a bit of... I kind of do want to grind the sugar cane up. Oh, some of these blackberries. Been getting loads of those everywhere, haven't I? Let's sell all eighteen of them for a hundred. Um, let's go and sell as much juice as I can to Sophia. I'm gonna buy chocolate milkshakes with Sophia to uh, to give to Emmy if I want to. Uh, so let's sell all my juice. And those slap chips. And the chicken soup. Hurrah! Beef Wellington, cheese pizza, quiche, and recipes for beverage buffs. So I can make chocolate milkshake now. Perfect. So we can make banana smoothie, cappuccino, chocolate milkshake, fruit punch, hot chocolate, strawberry milkshake. Hooray! There's a lot we can make now. It's brilliant. Okay, so let's see. Uh, mint, paper, and honey. Honey would... One piece of honey would just do, just finish this off. It would be enough. No, it wouldn't. I need 1,800, don't I? <laughs> wow. Francis is open. So, can have a chat to Vanessa while we're in here quickly? I wish my parents were still spry enough to make the trip out to Fairhaven. They'd love to see how Fairhaven has changed since I was a teenager. That's when we stopped spending summer vacation here. Oh, I don't need to give you a present. Oh, the cat broke in. You broke in. You broke in. Little, little monster. All right, so let's see if I can sell anything to you. I have a, two sapphires, actually, so it's another hundred. Yeah, kind of getting there. <laughs> I just need to make a few more things. Let's see if I can set. Oh, Natalia, you just shut the door in my face. How dare. I probably have quite a lot of scavengeables that could go to Shelby if I can find him, like, around the place. Wednesday, I think he's usually at his house in the woods, isn't he? i run around picking all this stuff up. Because I think if I can go and find him, oh, I think it's getting a bit late for him actually. He'll probably be at the coven now. Um, so let's not worry too much about that. Did I buy any seeds from Lena to... Because of course I didn't. There is one corn seed though and I think that is in season just now. So I may as well grab that quickly and put that in. maybe have a chat to you. 
I am. Do you know what Cameron said he was craving things. the other day? Avocado mash. I literally cannot think of a food that has less flavor. One of these days, I'm going to make him a proper curry. I like curry, and I also like avocado mash. But you got to make it right. You got to put like lime juice in it. You got to put salt in it. Like you can't just mash the avocado because that will taste disgusting. I'm gonna weed everything. So I've still got a full complement of stamina. So I think the rest of the day will be spent in the mines. Getting as much iron ore as I possibly can. So we will go to level one. How much wood do I have right now? 74. So we're not too far off on the wood, which is really good. I should be able to get quite a lot of iron, I think. In fact, how much iron do I have? So we're on two right now. Two down, 118 to go. So just a good way to spend my evenings is either socializing or mining. But you're almost guaranteed to get iron on this level, so it's better for me if I'm just wanting loads and loads and loads of iron just to get it from here. Mm. Okay, I will be right back. I'm just going to get the cat some food. <sighs> One day I'll get through a whole recording without that cat interrupting me. I'd, I've done a batch of three. Oh, now she's made me realise I'm freeing him. Go. Okay. Mining go. How long have we got left on here? It's actually really nice to have the speed boost as well. It actually all kind of comes together to make mining a much more pleasant experience. To be able to run between the nodes and also to be able to just magically pick them up. Literally magically pick them up. We're on 20! 20, 20 down, 100 to go! Really? No, I've got 39 ingots already. So, we only need 60. Oh, that's an annoying math to do. So that means we need another 47 times 2, which would be 80, 94, I think. And we've got 20 of that 94. So we need about another 70. Then we need to go and get another 50 or so wood. And we need to get about another thousand coins. I think we could do this. Maybe not today, but tomorrow. And I apologise, Tilly has gone... Um, she hasn't gone outside or anything, so she is still in the house. And she may decide after she's had her food that she wants to... Come back in here and bug me. So we'll see. We'll see what she does. You know, I'll have this ready just in time for the weekend. <laughs> and I won't be able to get... That's why we need to get the iron together first. Because the wood is easy. And we'll get it all over to Parker. If we have to wait till Monday to hand it in, I don't mind. I just want to have all of the... At least all of the... Um, is it time for bed? Materials together by the end of the episode. If not... The money as well. Okay, so we've got sunflowers today. So A, the sunflowers can be sold. B, that means we'll probably have honey ready today, possibly. Anyway, we've got quite a few bits of fruit ready today as well. No. Okay. Not really then. Okay. Well, let's uh, water the marigolds at least. I 
And maybe I could leave the sunflowers there for a day? I don't know. Or maybe I'd be better off sending them to Violet. Sometimes it can be hard to hit the exact box that you're wanting to hit. It's very annoying. Let's grab the apples. Olives, lemons and limes. These are slowly coming into line with each other as to when they're being harvested because I'm guessing there's some days where I don't harvest them. And then I see that they're all ready and I'm like, oh, let's grab them all. So they are slowly but surely coming into line with each other. Now then, corn. And I should go in my house and have a look at what I can cook. Mulberry tree is doing well. I do not have any seeds at all, so I'll just water the sugar cane and the one little tiny corn seed that I have, and then we need to go buy some more stuff from her. And I need to go and sell the sunflowers to... I would say, let's go sell the sunflowers to Violet. I know it slows down the honey production. But it's fine. Right. So. Oh, that, I, that one hasn't been watered. Oops. What money-making things can we do today? So I need to find one piece of mint. I need one thing of honey. I need five pieces of paper. Um, we need the oranges. But I don't have oranges right now. So we need to wait for those. So we're just waiting on quite a lot of stuff. May as well do the paper then. I'm going to see if I can find a sprig of mint for Amira. Wonder what she's going to make with that. Mm. I said there was something here that I could hand in. Oh, it's the paper. Okay. Oh, we get money digging these up, so we need to we need to get the money. I really need lots of money. Was this where the, the mint used to live, though? Like by the hot spring? Is it? It is! A recipe! Ooh! Italian sausage! Nice. I don't know how to get meat at the moment. Well, I guess I would just have to buy it in from... Once I actually have a decent amount of money, once I've got the barn, I don't think there's going to be a ton of stuff to spend money on after that. This is a really big thing I'm saving for. Oh, there's some mint. Lovely. So that's my third piece of mint that I need, and I will send that over to Amira. And I will get the paper down to Cameron. And I will quickly feed Meg. I'm not even going to pet you today. We're just going to do the feeding quickly. Like, some days I have time. Today I have no time. So it's Thursday, so everything's closed. Did I get any gems at all? No, still just the pearl. Okay. Natalia lets me use her workshop when I need to weld metal pieces together. But it gets so hot in there. How does she deal with it? Is she some blacksmithing deity? No, she doesn't That's particularly what she like put it. On her dating profile. Can withstand the inside of a volcano. And then one of those, like, guys that's like a really, really hot sleeper will be like, Yes, you're perfect for me! Right then, so the one thing I can sell today is to you, my sunflowers. That's 240. 
I do need to buy some more sunflower seeds. Making most of my money from flowers at the moment, actually. Summer's a great season for kicking back with an ice cold brew. Just don't kick back too far. I can't tell you how many broken bar stools I've had to replace. <laughs> right then. I definitely gotta work more on getting things for them. Every summer I tell myself to take advantage of Juliet's break to spend more time with her. But I think she's already reached the stage where hanging out with your mom is no longer cool. Yeah, probably. She seems a bit like that. Oh no, that was a present. No, I can't. Uh, I thought I could sell her olive oil for a second there. Banana smoothie though. A lot. I imagine a lot of things are going to need milk. So when I have the barn, they're going to be a lot easier to make. Hang on, was there anything I could actually sell her? Oh, just the lemonade and the popcorn. No, I don't want to sell those. If there's anything else I can make, maybe. But I haven't really checked if there's anything that I can make, any foods or anything. But maybe I could. Maybe they would sell for a bit. Let's see. So we've had a lot of recipes turn up since uh, since I last checked. I need a fish and some parsley for that one. I don't even know where parsley would be. I can make cauliflower soup though. I'm gonna sell that to Sophia. I can make cornbread. I can make quite a lot of cornbread. And then sell it all. Oh, I can hear that cat. I told you, didn't I? I was like, that cat will not leave me alone now. Oh, a lot of, oh I can make strawberry milkshake. I can make one of those. I'll sell a few of these things to Sophia then and just see how much money I can make out of that. Probably not a ton, but we are only um, about 500 short right now. And then I could go mine, I could get the rest of the wood and iron together and just go mining and see if I could get a few more bits of, even just more copper and things like that would help. Just before she closes. Basically bored kitty, isn't it? Bored kitty season. Right, so I could sell all this cornbread. Two hundred and twenty. Perfect. I can sell the cauliflower soup for fifty and the strawberry milkshake for twenty. That's got us up to fourteen fifty five. I will sell the popcorn. Fourteen ninety five. Getting there, I think we could do the rest out of just uh, various bits of metal and stuff. So how are we doing for how are we doing for metal? So I've got one piece of copper ore, I've got 34 iron ore, which will make me 15, 16, 17 pieces. So 20, 20, that'll make me 30, we're halfway there. Uh, I've got a cat on my desk. You need to be good. <laughs> She's looking at me like... You need to be a good cat. You gonna be a good cat or are you gonna walk all over my keyboard, cat? I'll throw you out. Okay, I'll be right back again wait she's gone outside so we should have peace for the last half an hour <laughs> going outside to play um oh i never gave the mint into a mirror hmm okay that'll ha that can happen tomorrow or whenever i see her so we're still wanting iron 
and we're wanting about another 60 pieces. And once I have those 60 odd pieces, so that'll take me up to something like 75 or something, I don't know. I need it in total. 120 pieces of ore. So that I could get 60 pieces. I have 13. That means I need another 47 pieces. Which means I need 94. Total. And we have 46 right now, so... gonna take a bit of mining to get this done but it's cool and after that I can mine for money finally the barn is the last really big project I have unless it then unlocks loads of other really big projects I am kind of slightly worried about that but I think it's one of the last really big things I need to grind for And then we can just get on with the story and stuff. Why Why do I always go for the nodes that are... I should just not even worry about the nodes that are next to a piece of clay, should I? How are we doing now? 61, okay. We're looking at about another 30 pieces. So that might be finished off tomorrow. I think I can have all the stuff done by the end of the episode. I think. And then I'm going to be like, I want to record getting the barn together. Barn, barn will be next episode, I think. This episode, I can't even remember what I've done this episode, but it's quite I'm a lot. All out of I could eat. That was ideal. 12 and I just ran out of stamina. So tomorrow morning, we'll need to get about 20 more pieces of uh, iron. And about 50 pieces of wood, which we can absolutely do. I will just focus down on that completely. Um, but we'll also need to go to the coven now i've worked out who the journeyman Should I is go to bed? we'll need to pop down to the coven and just see who the next person oh. we need to work out who they are is and what we need to do for that as well because we obviously worked out damon today love how my farm's looking it's so pretty it's so organized and nice so what are we on we're on a friday all right then um, I've barely got anything that I need to water right now because I've been really lax with my crops. I'm busy doing other stuff right now. Okay, I'll fill the well. I'll fill the can at the well. It's not what I want to do right now. What I want to do is run away and get all the stuff and get the money together and... If the marigolds are ready, that will be the rest of the money I need. So that's probably the best thing for me to wait for. But it's not. No, no marigolds for me. Sad times. I'll just plant in all my sunflowers. I'll water all my flowers. We've been stuck on summer for so long. It's because I kind of like I've kind of slowed it. I've not, I've wanted to get lots of stuff done ahead of time. I don't, I don't want to wait for ages. Yeah, I definitely could have this better organized, couldn't I? Like in terms of the watering, 
efficiency. Although I'm so glad I've got this upgrade to the watering can. It would be a nightmare. Imagine if I was still using the rusty watering can right now. It would be an absolute nightmare. Right, so I want to just get into the mines and very... No, Meg first. Meg first. Okay. Uh, quickly chuck you some seed. That's all we're doing today, okay? It does increase um, my relationship just to pets or just to feed or, or whatever, but it's better if you can give presents and things like that. But because I've got to interact with Meg every day to feed, I may as well not worry too much. Um, right. Start on level one again, I think. And we're needing to get to about, really? Oh well. At least I'll have clay when I need it. Hope that happens soon. I'm actually really worried that I'm not going to have this in time. And that I'm going to have to wait till Monday for this barn. I think I might have to. It is taking forever. <laughs> 20 pieces of iron. I'm not going to get that that fast. Okay, we're up to nearly 80. I need to be up to like 94, or maybe a little bit more just in case my maths is off. If I can do that before the afternoon, I can at least get to Natalia's. Let me just check something. Um, it's Parkush closed all. Yeah, it's closed all weekend. So, of course, the timing is that we need to get this all done. <laughs> like now. It does give me all weekend, though, next episode, to get the money together for the barn, at least. And what's this episode's... Uh, I can't remember whether this episode's uh, goal was to get the barn done, or whether it was just to get the barn nearly done, or what? Uh, what are we at now? 87, okay. Bit of a race against time. I'm just going to get this patch here done and then we're going to take this all over to Natalia. See if I've got anything that I can sell. I don't know if I can. I've got a feeling that I can't. Uh, that's 94. That's not quite enough if my maths is off. So let's just... Play it safe. <laughs> See, if it was just going to be one more day to get the barn in, but uh, it, it, obviously it's going to take a couple of days, and I've got to wait for the weekend to pass and everything like that, so I feel like, to be honest, it's probably better that I don't worry about it too much. So let's head over real quick to Natalia, get the iron together. And then the last thing I'll do is go over to the coven and find the, the next person I need to unveil. Um, Right then, let's have a quick look in my inventory. Just check that I have the 120. Oh yeah, 62. That is that is all I need. Okay. So now if I can cut down enough trees to get up to 120 wood and get that into Parker by five, then we can do this thing. If not, which I very much expect not is going to be the case, Uh, oh, we're not going to have the money anyway. What am I on about? I've like got 1250 money. Oh, 
I'm all I could eat. Okay, so why don't we head over? I'm gonna like give up on the idea even of trying to get this done by the end of Friday. It's definitely gonna be a Monday task for Parker. Maybe that would be a bit nicer of me anyway. Give it to him at the beginning of the week rather than last thing before the weekend so he can worry about making a barn all weekend. I'm so, all... I could eat some... Oh no, hang on. I was going to recover strength in the... in the hot tub area. And then we can hmm. even... How long should even I Even go back for? in the mine and try and find gems or something because who will be open over the weekend is Francis. So if we can find a good amount of gems, that might help us get enough. How are we doing for wood then? We need 120, so we just need another 20. It's just another couple of trees. Hmm. And I'll also dig up all of these um, dirt mounds oh, so I can get money from them. I think this is the last tree we need. And seventeen. Okay. Uh, what I need now is like a little tiny tree or a stump or something, just quickly. That will do. Okay, that's one hundred and twenty wood. So now I just need to work out how to get some money. So my thoughts are to go into level fourteen of the mines, thirteen or fourteen or something, and just go and hit those gem nodes and sell those to Francis. <laughs> Well, that's already a sapphire, which is 50. Maybe silver as well for him. Because obviously so far the silver has all been going towards my tool upgrades. The tool upgrades have massively helped. I do feel that that was the right way around to do it. As much as it's like, oh, I want my barn so badly. Oh, it's 8 o'clock in the night now, so what we actually need to do right now is to head out of here. I've got all weekend now to make the 600 that I need to get me up to the 1800 by Monday. I've got my 60 iron ore, I've got my 120 wood. I'll just need to make sure I don't use any of that up particularly, and if I do, I need to replace it. And then we're going to be good. It's going to be really cool. So to the coven now. Quick, quick, quick. I'm cutting this really fine, actually. <laughs> Such a long way to run. I'm so glad I got my speed boost on. Sorry, Juliet. No time to chat today. No time to even pick flowers today. We just need to go and see who is the next person. It's going to be this one, probably. Yes. Let's go and have a chat to uh, Damon. So, <laughs> this boat I can use for interdimensional travel. Can you see it? Sure can't. And I couldn't when the boat was Hazel's either. That's how it works. Honestly, you're missing out more than me. You don't get to see my magic scooter. Magic scooter? What? Right then, who are you then? Last, Second to last task, I think. Oh, it's my turn! Yay! I can't believe they made me wait until second to last. I hate secrets. You're Violet. But the coven itself is one big secret. Yeah, but it's one we keep together, so that's more fun. That's gotta be Violet, right? There's still friction with the normies, though. Normies. And since Otto was elected, it's gotten worse. So, enter the charm potion. Are you serious? I asked Grandma if we could use the charm potion to smooth things over between the coven and the town last spring, and she said no. Well, yeah, dingus. You don't want to charm an entire town. Not only would that take forever, but it's a surefire way to make people go, huh, maybe one of my neighbors is a witch. One person at a time, though, less of a problem. Got it. One charm potion coming up. Okay, charm potion. I think it's violet, but it could be. No, too excited for Kim. Far too excited. I really do think that one's violet. 
Uh, so much stuff here to pick up, and like I have, I'm not picking any of it up. Okay. Let's run back home, and then we can spend tomorrow making money and looking for charm potions. I think that would work really well. And then once the barn's done, I'll spend a bit more time on like getting to know people and things like that as well. Like trying to make the potions to find out their favourite stuff. Trying to make their favourite stuff. Using money to buy recipe books and things like that. But I definitely need one more day just to look into charm potions. Should I go to bed? I think next episode we might end up getting into autumn. Possibly. <sighs> Depending on whether I want to or not. Maybe I want to get the barn together before I do that, but I'm certain there'll be a big quest to find out who the the high priestess is. Like I said, I've got this this feeling it might be Lena. Right, so let's head down into my basement actually before we do anything else and have a little look at what a charm potion requires. It requires all stuff that I totally have. Yes. How long does it take? Eight hours. Okay. And because we're making it at seven o'clock in the morning, there's actually a chance I might be able to do this today, especially if it is who I think it is. I hope so. But uh, it's another one that needs a load of honey. So we are slowly but surely trying to make more honey. Da -da 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 it's taking time. I can't just leave the flowers there. I have to like... Ooh, lemons today. Nice. Luckily my watering can is kind of holding up. I've been so bad with my veggie plot though. I've been absolutely terrible with that. Should I make the silkworm box in here? Do I have the money in the... How much does it take? Is it lots of money? Yes, 200 actually. I don't really want... Oh! My beer is done. So I could sell that to Damon later on tonight. Also, is my vodka done? I haven't even checked on that, have I? I bet it is. Yes! What else can I make? Honey mint cooler. Tanning solution. Whiskey. Rum. Oh, actually, if I make sugar in here... Oh, can I not make sugar? I really would have thought that that's sugar there, isn't it? I really would have thought I'd be able to by now, but oh well. Uh, five hours remaining, that will be ready at about two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm taking it straight to Violet. I think it's her. There's no way she's not part of the coven. And the priestess just isn't excitable enough to be Violet. I will pet you today because I can. It looks like how long are the marigolds going to take? They are going to be another day. So tomorrow I'm going to have like 400s worth of marigolds. But I don't know whether violets will be open for me to give that to her. Let me see. Close on Sunday and Monday, so yes, I won't be able to give to sell them to her until Tuesday. Ah. Uh... Right, so Saturday, do I have any um, ores or anything like that, that I can sell on? At the moment, I've got a little bit of silver. Um, could I risk an hour or two just 
quickly seeing how much more ore I can get so I can sell it on. Maybe till like one o'clock in the afternoon or something we could just quickly mine. If I can get a bit of silver, that would really help. If I can get gems, that'll help even more, but like, I think silver is quite decent. 38 per silver. Although the gems, you don't have to process them. I'll take a little punt on a couple of the gem rocks and see if I get anything. I'm not that worried about picking up coal. I just want to. I just want to be fast here. Okay. Oh, nice sapphire. Okay, let's see what I can make out of that then. Man, it's so long. This is why I have to come out of here at like two o'clock because it's gonna take me hours to get across the Natalia's place and actually process these things. And Natalia will be shut on a Sunday because she'll be off to the consciousness center to go and see Cameron, my favorite person. Hi. So, I would like to make as many iron ingots as I can, as many copper ingots as I can, as many silver bars as I can. I would like to sell you back all of the copper, six of the iron. Lovely. I would also like to sell you 50 stone. Then I'll head over to Francis's place and sell him all of the silver and all of the gemstones. Hey dude. Sixteen hundreds. Anything else in my inventory that I can do? I can get the mint and the paper in. Okay. Let's see if we can find a mirror. Here's your mint. You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. Juliet brought me soup yesterday. It's a small thing, but I almost cried. Why do we get someone else chiming in every time we talk to Amira? That's so weird. Okay, to the consciousness center. Wow, oh, welcome. I'm glad you stopped in. Your choice to move here signals a longing for a fresh start, am I right? I, I guess. Our consciousness center is a great place to start your new journey. Listen, I can relate. I came here looking for a new beginning myself. Tell me about you. Really? Where did you live before coming here? Uh, funny, when you're the messenger, you're not used to people asking you about yourself. Well, you're going to laugh, but Hollywood. I was living the Hollywood lifestyle, partying all night. One morning, I woke up on the sidewalk right in front of the League's founding chapter. I'm not saying anything. I can't explain what made me go inside that morning, but I'm so glad I did. Sometimes the universe nudges us on the path that we're meant to go, and other times fate is more direct. After I learned more about the teachings of the League of the Conscious Mind, I knew my life would never be the same. I really hope to see you here again. That's wonderful, but I just came to bring you some paper because I'm poor and I need the money. I feel like, in a way, I manifested. Thanks no, for picking up. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Bye. 
by bringing him paper is like I know it's helping spread the conscious conscious mind around and stuff. All right, and Kai, uh, can I tell you, know, you anything? Angus makes the dopest pastries, but you want my controversial opinion on them? Hit me. Not enough coconut. Like he could be putting coconut in everything, but he's not. I like agree. I really like coconut. It's yummy. I like bounty bars and like coconut cakes and everything like that. What a missed opportunity. Coconut you know? ice. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Kai. That is an opportunity that. And we're done. And Kai's got more stock. Yeah. You now sell me leather. And mushroom leather. They look like they sell for a lot, so I need to I need to get that together, don't I? Pomegranates. That is a thing I will have. My whole place is just gonna be trees though. And I do have enough to buy a lemonade from Emmy. You look thirsty. We added extra sugar to yours. <laughs> Good, good. Nice job, Emmy. Yum, yum. Uh, Lena, I would actually like some seeds now. <laughs> that would be really cool. Uh, how about strawberries? I'll be careful not to overdo it. Let's see, milk is 100, cheese is 120. So I expect it would be 50 and 60 when I sell it to her. They're probably worth double. Pomegranate's worth 60 as well. So they're worth the same as apples. Which is cool. Okay. And I'll be, once I get a bit more money together, I'll be able to do... Oh, mulberries. Cool. 10 iron for Thomas, 190. Hmm. I will do that, but I will do that later. I'll take the mulberry one. Mint doesn't sell for a very good amount. Um, and shrimp, I just don't want to go and fish for it. I just cannot be bothered. I'd rather make presents than do that. Okay, I think we are good. That was a really good Saturday. And we now have everything we need. Um, but I don't think I actually had it down as a as a thing. Did I? As a quest. I did not. Right, let's see. The the charm potion should be ready by now. And I want to see if Violet is the person to give it to. You. I also want to plant water seeds as well. She acts like Violet. So I'm hoping. Issue is, where is she? Violet doesn't always... Uh... Her shop isn't open today. She sat outside her shop. Fantastic. Let's try this thing. Am I sure Please. this is the Acolyte Witch? I think so. Here you go, Violet. Normally when she does that, it's the right yes! one. Yes! <laughs> you figured it out! What gave me away? The enthusiasm. Now you're really one of us. I know it's a bit intimidating being the newest member, but I can already tell you're gonna do great. Violet is the most enthusiastic hey, person Violet. I know. Hey, Violet. How are your potions? Oh, wait. Uh, can we talk about that here? Probably not. I mean, nobody's listening most of the time, so just use common sense and common words. So, like, not potion. So, like, tea or something. So, Violet it was the person I thought she was. So I'm going to head across to the coven now. 
I'm just going to chat and uh, see if there's a high priestess thing for me to do. If we can just get the barn and the coven quest done in line with each other, I think that's going to be absolutely amazing. Which I'm now going to need money for the animals. Did they just bloom just now? They did, huh? I need to um, stick something in the wellspring on the way as well. I don't want to run out of magic if I want to make like a speed a speed incantation or something. Yeah. Zoom zoom. I could donate these shiitakes to the wellspring. Or I could prototype some cute mushroom leather boots. Oh, of course. The shiitakes are, uh, could be used for the mushroom leather. And then I can sell the mushroom leather to Kai. Finally, something I can do with all those mushrooms. Ah! Stick a bit of witch weed in there, probably be enough. Ooh. Right, final person is you, High Priestess. You have done well and proven yourself worthy of our trust. We have to be careful, as there are those that would do us harm. Why? The coven doesn't hurt anyone. But they might panic when faced with something they don't understand. That's why we keep our identities a secret. Our friends and family might not accept us if they knew the truth. I had no idea. I didn't know my grandma was a witch a few months ago. Really? You never even suspected that Hazel was a bit special? Are you Francis? A high priestess which suggests female so i think you suspect who i am write this speed up incantation when you cast it any crops or cauldrons nearby will grow or brew faster bring it to me in town when it's ready okay i'll make it speedy get it run along novice Okay, let's see what we need to do this. I'm gonna chat to you again. Have you written the speed up incantation yet? How do I do that again? You can craft it at your desk. So, I hear you're the one who welcomed the meteorologist to town, Tara. Yeah, Otto Mullen forced me for the job. But Giva seems nice, so I didn't mind. She may be nice, but her presence here could be dangerous. She came here to look into Fairhaven's weather patterns. We caused those weather patterns. She did ask if I knew anything that would explain the weather anomalies. That's exactly what I'm worried about. If she's a competent meteorologist, she'll dig far enough into the island's weather that she just might find us at the center. We should all keep an eye on her discoveries. Oh, wait. No. No. I, I don't think that's what Grandma would have wanted. Didn't she warn us against this exact attitude? Even if Giva does uncover something that points to us, that isn't necessarily bad. Maybe she's trustworthy. I wish I agreed with you, but as witches, we can never be too careful. We're not only responsible for our own safety, but the safety of the entire island, even the parts beyond the Vale. Okay, so I'm still not particularly sure about who this is. Um, so let me just have a quick look in my in my uh, journal. So, Amira, we already know is someone. I believe. So we're almost doing this like guess who. I believe it's not someone male or gender neutral. But that is a Bit of a throw based on it saying priestess. Natalia is part of the consciousness. I don't think it's Vanessa. My thoughts are definitely Lena. I I th I I think Lena. That's what I, that's what I'm going with. 
So then we would have Shelby, Damon, Violet, Amira, and Lena as the Covenant people. The thing is, the thing that throws me is how much Francis worries about the consciousness people as well. And it's like, well, maybe it could be him. So if Lena doesn't work out, then we can try Francis. But I've got it pretty narrowed down. And like I say, because it says priestess, I'm going to try Lena first. I think it would probably say priest otherwise. Um, so the other the other woman it could be. Oh. Dear Tara, I wanted to invite you to the grief support group I run. Violet, Sebastian, and Juliet come sometimes too. We'd all love to see you at the next meeting. It's very casual. Just bring something to eat or drink and let me know when you're ready. Sincerely, Vanessa Soft. That's sweet. What should I bring? Maybe berry smoothies? Hmm. I could probably make that out of the blackberries on the mountain, couldn't I? Right, so... I want to go and have a look at how to make this speed potion. What is it? What was it? It was a... Hmm. Oh no, was it an incantation? It was an incantation, wasn't it? It's a speed time spell. This incantation will shorten the crafting or growing time of crops. You cast it on. Okay. So we're going to need to do that next time, I think, because we're going to need to get a, a, a topaz for it. So I need to go into the mine to get a topaz, which shouldn't take me too long, but longer than I have right now. So I'm going to head to bed. bed. We'll find a topaz. Uh, well, that's what we'll spend our Sunday doing, first day of next time. And then Monday, we'll get over to Parker and get him to uh, make the barn. So that will be ready by the end of next time as well. And I think at that point, we'll probably be ready to turn the season over to autumn. I don't know. There might be more to do before that as well. But uh, I think I'm going to be nearly ready for that soon ish and then we'd be like halfway through the game at that point but having done quite a lot of stuff so i'll be quite happy so let's go to bed long episode this one. Ooh, the marigolds are ready tomorrow nice so there we are so that's the end of that one it's going to be an exciting episode next time like i say we're going to get uh the barn together we're going to get cows uh, then I can spend my money on doing things like getting more cows, more chickens, more goats, more whatever it is that we can get. Uh, maybe at some point we'll be able to get ducks too. So I can sort of increase the, the livestock uh, once we've got the barn built. And that's going to be just really, really cool. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.